So hello and good evening, this is Ruth Pozzolo from Curval.com and today we are going to do a deep dive on Power BI or Power Query, it's basically Power Query, privacy levels. Um, I'm sure that you've seen the windows that I show on this uh, slide. You know, you have um, at some point being prompt to ask what privacy level a source has and you've got I'm sure this formula firewall that it says that hmm, that combination is not allowed. So people will normally advise to set the privacy levels to ignore and that's fair enough. But I think it's good if you know what you're actually doing while you are disabling a privacy level. So I will go into detail about what these things are and I hope that this will prepare to make a good decision next time you get prompted that okay so without any more delay let's just begin this video let's learn everything there is or anything i know about privacy levels so first of all let's see when this happens okay what do you have to do to get those prompts and uh, if we go to file options and settings and options you have two places when you can set privacy. You can set privacy levels for the all the Power BI files that you'll ever open on the machine that you're on, or you can set privacy levels for a specific Power BI file. So this is important. Sometimes you might want to ignore the levels just for that file, but that doesn't mean that here you should set always ignore privacy levels, okay? Uh, we will talk about what this is. There is also a link here to, uh, um, that it will take you to a um, Power BI documentation and we will go through it in a second. But if we have set combined data called according to each file's privacy level settings, I will show you what this is in also in a second, then this is what is going to happen. Let me show you. I have these for global and I have these for this current file also okay so what i have here i've done a video on this uh, this is the number of accidents um, in sweden and this is an api source so it is an online source so we go to edit queries up here and then if we go up to the source you'll see here web content so we have a online source and i've just imported a table I mean, just for the purpose of this, it doesn't have to be related. But I just imported a, you see here, it's an Excel file, so nothing strange. And I want to combine this table with this table, so an online source with my Excel file. So I will go to merge queries as usual. Perhaps not, let's do it in there. It doesn't matter, actually, you can do it either way. But So we have our online source and we're going to combine it with our local source which is an Excel file store on my computer. Select columns, they are not related. It just, I couldn't find, <laughs> I didn't have time to find a better source. Either way, uh, here you get it. So this is says the privacy level is used to ensure that data is combined without undesirable data transfer. Uh, incorrect privacy levels might lead to sensitive data being leaked outside. And then it says either ignore now they have it already here. They didn't have it at the beginning. So you say, okay, poof, I don't care. Just go for it. Or you can say, I'm going to set what this actually is, what these data sources are. Uh, and if you set this to public and you set this to private, I click OK. you are going to get formula firewall is accessing data sources that have privacy levels which cannot be used together okay so now we actually can reproduce these that means that we're starting to understand how this thing works and the situation is actually easier than we might think and what they what microsoft is trying to tell us is that you cannot combine uh, public sources with private sources and I don't know if you remember that I did a video on query folding uh, it was uh, two weeks ago or something like that so 
it has to do with query folding. It has to do how Power BI actually reads data. Um, if you don't know what query folding is, I will post a link to in the description box so you can watch that video. But if you don't want to go and watch it right now, query following is basically how Power BI handles the data sources, like the data. Um, and for certain sources, it actually does the transformations back in the source. So even if you would think that Power BI is working on your computer locally, it's not. It's just sending all the data back to the source and then brings it back to Power BI when it's ready because it's you know, performance-wise is more effective way to do it. Now, what is the issue here? Okay, we have accidents here that are online. We have a local table. I don't know, this could be, uh, I don't know, the, let's say that you're an insurance company and you have um, like policies or injuries uh, and you want to connect these two tables. Of course, the injury source is a privacy level that is private. You don't want that data to leak, but it might be so that when you are trying to match up the accidents with your insurance data, that Power Query will actually get that your insurance data, send it back online, do the match up there, and then give it back to you. So it's actually leaking your information, if you would say so. So what Power Query is asking you is, Tell, is this really telling you it's like okay uh, if you have a private source and a public source and you don't want the private source be leaked outside or the risk that to be outside just tag them properly and we won't allow them to join there are of course other ways that you can join so you are actually breaking the query folding and you can make the transformation inside power query um, I think I have a video on that I will put a description um, a link to the description box if I find it uh, but other than that that's what you have to do the other thing you can do is what is recommended everywhere said ignore data privacy but be careful with that because that's not always a good solution depending on what you're actually trying to do and where you are actually sending your data you have to be careful some sources will will save the data that you're sending them I'm sure and uh, they need to be really, really careful with that, especially if you're authenticating yourself, they know who you are and you're giving them their your data. So now you know, if you're trying to put public source together with a private source, you will get all these errors. So what are the options that you have? Let's close these. You have here options and settings, options, Let's go up. You have the privacy levels. Here it says always combine data according to the privacy level settings for each source. So how do you set the privacy letter, privacy settings for each source? You go here to data source. And here we have the data sources for the current file. So you will set them there, okay? And once you set them up then, or you set them up, I don't know if you can set it by the source if you guys know just let me know i have no idea uh, but now we have actually set what these sources are so you won't be able to join them ever unless you said ignore so when we go here to options and settings options and we go to privacy and we said always ignore then you are going to be able to mix sources like that but again if you are concerned with data privacy issues, you should not you should not check that because data will be sent here and there depending on. Of, of course, Microsoft does not know. For example, I have a um, for the YouTube channel I do analysis and I actually download data to a local SQL server. So when I try to merge the local data with new data, it complains. And it says, uh, for me, it doesn't matter if you send YouTube data to YouTube. So in there, I can send current file, privacy, just for this file, ignore everything, I don't care, because I'm sending you the data back, so <laughs> no worries. You understand what I mean? So you have to think, of what data do you have? Is query for the in accordance? Is there a risk that things will go out? 
and if there is a risk, you should tag your sources accordingly so they cannot be merged together, so data cannot be leaked. Okay? I hope this is clear now. Um, yeah, it, 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 I mean, I know it's an annoying feature, but there is a reason for that. And now that you know the reason, hopefully it will annoy you a little bit less. It does for me, at least it works now. I know why why it works this way. Uh, I find it less annoying. I know that Microsoft is doing this to protect. So, okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is actually all for today. I hope you are now a data privacy expert and uh, you can make good decisions when joining data sources. If you enjoy this video as usual, just let me know by liking it. You know, it helps me know which type of videos you like to see. Uh, share it with somebody that would like to also know what this is all about. Um, new people on the channel. I publish videos three times a week. It's Power Query Monday, Power BI Wednesday and DAX on Fridays. So if you are into Power BI, make sure you subscribe and you click the bell to receive notifications every time I publish a new video. So thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you on Wednesday. Bye.